Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to show you a super easy way how to achieve the cyan orange look in Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also by the way, quick reminder, I now have a vlogging channel where I make videos about my life and art and culture and all these kind of cool things. So maybe check that out. Okay, let's get started with the video. So if you might wonder what's the difference between the cyan orange and the teal orange look, here it is. Boom! On the left side we have cyan, which is a bright blue. On the right side we have teal, which is more like a greenish blue, a little bit darker, has a completely different vibe to it. All right, so here we have our image. Now, the first thing I want to suggest to you is to go up to document and then to convert format and convert it from an RGB8 to an RGB16. So we have a bigger color range to work with. Click on convert. And by the way, if you export this, then afterwards as a JPEG, it's going to be converted back to an RGB 8, but that's completely okay. Good. So the next thing might be a bit confusing, but it works really well. What we are going to do is we're going to go down here to adjustments here, and then we're going to select channel mixer. So you can see here we have the RGB channels, but what we are going to do is we are going to adjust it with the CMYK settings. This, by the way, is not going to change your picture. It is still an RGB picture. We are just using CMYK adjustments to address it. All right. So we are in the Cyan channel right now. So push up the Cyan fully. You can see we get some more Cyan over here and then push down on the magenta and push down on the yellow like that and this already gives us a little bit of a taste where we are going now you can also switch over to your magenta channel and for example reduce the cyan here to minus 200 you can see it gives a bit more cyan over here now and you can play around with these settings to influence how the reds and the orange tones are looking so you can see here if i move this around a little bit for example, I move this up. This is more like a red orange. So in this case, well, we can actually leave it as it is. Also, don't switch back to RGB here because this will simply reset all the settings you have done so far. Okay, so now it is kind of nice, but not enough for our taste. We want to do something more. So something I want to suggest to you is that you go down here to adjustments again and I would suggest that you go up here to Vibrance and then you can push the Vibrance to your taste to make it more vibrant. You can also push the saturation, but be careful with that because that's more intense. So you can see down here, this starts to glow pretty hard. So don't overdo that. All right. Then another thing I want to do, because we have also some cyan in here and it looks a little bit messy, it kind of takes the glow and the shine out of the color. So what I want to do here is to do another adjustment. And this time I want to do it for selective color. And with that, again, I have my channels here. I have everything like the reds and also the magentas, the blues and also the cyans. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my red channel and I'm going to reduce the cyan here. And you can see how this cleans up the shadow area down here and how overall the orange areas start to shine a bit more. So that's pretty nice. It's a pretty good effect to have. And we can also play around with our cyan. So we can, for example, push them even more. You can see now if you look over here on the car, how much it looks like cyan right now over here also in these areas. So we have this nice, beautiful contrast between the cyan areas and our orange areas. So that is pretty nice. And this is basically how you achieve that look. Now, I want to give you one more advice that you can do if you want to uh, push some values even more. I would go to adjustments and then I want to go to split toning and here what I can do is I can adjust the highlight hues and the shadow hue. So I want to address the shadow hue because you can see the shadows here, they are dark and they are basically black. So what I want to do is I click over here to this kind of bright blue area. This gives me the cyan tone. And then 
I just push up the shadow saturation until I feel like, okay, that's good enough. So you can see now in the shadow areas, like here on the wheel, you get also this kind of blue tone a little bit, but, and this is something I wanna point out, it's important, also here in these shadow areas, because also there we have shadow, we also get that kind of cyan pushed in there. So you have to think about, is it that look that I want or not? Because a lot of this is up to taste. So there's a lot of wiggle room. There's a lot of artistic freedom and adjustment possibilities on the looks you can go for. Um, it's not set in stone what you have to do. Uh, it's what the kind of result you want to get, basically. Have fun with that. Play around with that. And see you in my next tutorial or in my next live stream. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. And also, again, thank you for my patrons who I will honor right now in the credits. Bye.